Hi guys, it's me Diddy's back with another episode of the Castle of Hitler series, as yet unnamed. Hi Jermaine. I think what we're gonna do is, um, actually I think we'll, we'll have like a little nap before we take on a quest because I don't really like working in the dark. I've never tried to do this before. Alright, well let's just make it like 6am and we'll have a nice clear day. <sighs> What's up guys? Okay, what is our first quest? A good lesson. I need somebody to teach my neighbor a lesson. My neighbor is wealthy and- wait, wait. I said clear sky. My neighbor is wealthy enough to afford his own carriage tools everything. Despite that, he constantly borrows my stuff and sometimes he even forgets to return my belongings. Worse yet, they come back broken and I need someone to teach that bastard a lesson. All I want you to do is break some of his stuff. This will show him what it's like to have someone destroy your things. The job is really easy. Robert isn't home until late night every day except Sundays, so you should not have any problems getting the job done. Okay, he's not signed it. This is very sus. If we're gonna go destroy someone's shit, there's one thing I need to do first. Yeah, we're flying the Trogdor flag today. <laughs> Again, not proper heraldry tinctures, but we're gonna go and burninate this dude's shit. I mean, this is looking like quite a big house. Hey, horsey. Oh, hi. <laughs> Damage 100 items, all right. I can be a crony. I think we'll, let's try to speed run this. Let's try to do it in less than five minutes. I just wanna see if I can. Let me just turn the sound up a smidgen because I want you to get like the full effect of uh, the noises of destruction. But I'm betting that there are exactly 100 items. So if we miss anything, um, that may impair my time a little bit. Oh, and there's two chests, but there's no law. So we won't be slowed down by reading any notes. Nothing in here. I mean, this is where, oh, oh. This is where I would hide the chest if it was me. I feel like this is a really disproportionate punishment for like borrowing someone's plow or whatever the guy did. Oh, I've missed some things over here. Okay, I was just testing if I could press the um, inventory key to actually like replace everything as we're breaking it. <laughs> Cause I thought that could be like, a little bit of like a funny bit, but um, it's not, it's not an option. Does this one not have a door? We're over halfway anyway. Imagine coming home and like every single pot, every like stove, every chair is just being completely smashed to pieces because you borrowed some dude's hammer for too long. Okay, we've only got five items. Uh, the thing is, I haven't seen any chests. Oh, we're done. Okay, well we did that in four minutes, so we did it within time. Uh, I just want to see... I mean, I might as well just keep fucking it shit up. I want to see where the chests are, man. Yeah, towels just like completely exploding. Right, I didn't see any chests though. You'd think I would have um, uncovered the way. Just looking for a balcony, because um, sometimes they are on balconies. Maybe it's around like the back of the house? Okay, I don't see anything there. Maybe I run past it? Oh, I haven't been in here. Okay, so there was like way more than 100 items. I was wrong. I can't really see that good. Okay, first chest. Thousand gold, not bad. Am I wrong or is it like a super dark? Where would you hide the second one? Probably, it was probably in that stable. I mean, while we're fucking this guy's shit up, we might as well steal from him at the same time. And his name is Robert, so I'm curious if the people that show up in the law, um... Oh, we can clean! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll just steal all his hay while we're here, might as well. Yeah, I'm curious if the people that show up in, in the law, um, in the notes and stuff, like, are recurring. Because I'm pretty sure that guy that um, wanted us to make the trebuchet for uh, and was somehow linked to the wizard was maybe related to the guy that sold his, um, that left his, his boat to his nephew from the last episode. I hope I'm not fucking up a, a future quest by cleaning because this was not an option before, but um, it's letting me, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Man, what was the point of taking a nap? <laughs> I actually cannot see shit now. Horsey, is that you? 
Welcome back here. I only had a certain amount of time as well because it said that the guy comes back at night or something like that. Ooh. Oh. Never mind. Alright, that's hardly gonna be an episode's worth of content, so I think we should straight away do another quest. Become a mighty man, okay? Already we're off to a bad start here. Welcome, I'd like to ask you a favour. My domain is constantly expanding and more and more peasants are coming to it. I'd like you to build and rent a new hut for one of the potential inhabitants. By the way, I know that you have received a piece of land yourself, so you will be able to do similar business on your own land. Believe me, there is a better way to earn money. With respect, Sir Makiek of Prudnik. Yeah, I don't like this guy's tone. I don't like, I don't like him affiliating himself with me. First up, I don't want to be a mighty man. Second up, the way that he's like, oh yeah, we're the same, we're the same. Yeah, we both like to exploit the peasants. No, no, we are not the same. Um, I think the angle that we're gonna go with with this is that we're gonna we're gonna warn his potential his potential tenants that he is a fiend. <laughs> but why, we could do something like, you know, um, the nuclear waste warning messages. We could just like really make it like a fucked up house. I think I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a really fucked up house. To rent a house, place a plate from your inventory at the door and then select a new building owner. Remember that each client has different requirements for the size and price of the house. Okay. Yeah, I mean when when we're renting out to tenants on in um, Regina Gorge. It's because like, I just want a better life for Matilda, my pig, you know? Let's put it like right obnoxiously. No, we'll do something else there. I'm just gonna do like four like this for now. Have you ever thought about how archaic that um, word landlord actually is though? Like, ooh, I'm, I'm the lord of the land. Okay, and then we'll put a door frame just, we'll put it at the back. You can only get through here. Just so I can see, oh, okay. Um, well, we, we want him to get the least amount of payment, so that's Bog Bogoslava. Bogoslava? Bogus Bogus Lawyer. <laughs> We're gonna rent to the Bogus Lawyer. She works at the tavern. She does the most damage too, which is good. So she wants a bed, closet, shelving, basins. I mean, we'll put that stuff in. Okay, no windows either. In fact, no one's getting in there. <laughs> Perfect. It doesn't look like that intimidating, but we can, we can, um, we can make it better. Oh, and this is the rental sign that you put outside. If you fill a home with a client's favorite furniture set, you'll increase monthly revenue. We don't care about that. Remember to pick your pay regularly and check in with your client to see if they need help with repairs or cleaning. The client may stop paying for a neglected home. All right, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm usually really terrible at roofs, so this shouldn't be too tricky. I just gotta like make it completely insane. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. That is looking good to me. Okay, and now the fun part. All right, what's the most off-putting? Uh, maybe just like a billion ravenous wolves. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking good to me. Oh, they're a thousand apiece, so that's um <laughs> most of my money, but you know, it's it's uh it's for a good cause. There's this horse with like a toilet seat around its neck. Oh. Oh, I know. I know. Okay. It's an extremely fucked up pentagram. <laughs> when you rent this place. And I think a small like pile of uh of fish just by the front door. Like they've all swum here from the river to die. Like something evil within this house was attracting them. And this is now their final resting place. Also, you'd have to like step on them all to get inside. Hang some garlic so uh, they think that there's the vampire problem in the neighborhood. Oh wait, I mean, okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're onions. <laughs> here we go. Uh, garlic, yeah. I mean, they could just end up making a nice fish stew with all this, but whatever. All right, what do they actually want? What did the lady want? Uh, beds, closets, shelving basins. Okay, I'm actually gonna have to like put that shit in. <laughs> but we'll fence the bed off so she can't get to it. Does the toilet count as a basin? I think she needs like three of them. Oh, she wants, she wants more house space. <laughs> it looks really good. So this is the finished house that we've made for the dude. Uh, as you can see, when you come in, she's got her bed, she's got her cabinet, she's got her basin, 
and her shelves. So I think she'll be really happy here. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, so we made five grand from that and I think we lost about 10, 15, 20. I'm not in it for the money, you know? All right, what's all this then? You can now visit the woodcutter's hut and the quarry to obtain resources. Visit them from time to time if you need more materials for construction. Okay, I do. I don't really have much stone. I'm guessing it's across the river. Special tenants, my king, well, my queen. New specialists have arrived in our kingdom. Provide them with food and accommodation and they shall reward us with their skillful work. Some tenants require a garden attached to the house to fulfill their need, place a garden cell snap to the building. If your client requires some object to be placed outside the building, it needs to be placed on the garden cell. Enlarge your property. Use this sign to buy more land and expand your property. Over time, there will be more and more land available. Buy and expand to create a real queendom. So let's go look at this uh, quarry and whatever. Actually, can I sell? How do I sell this stuff? Do you want to send your carriage and empty the storage? Okay, we get a tiny bit from that. Oh, my, my horse is gone. I hope she comes back. Yeah, I can see little glowy things over here. So this is obviously where you get the additional wood and stone. Here you can gather more stone resources, mine the rocks, and next time you come here, you'll find even more. Okay, well, I don't know how often that regenerates, but that's pretty handy. That's over doubled our stone supply. Woodcutter's hut, here you can gather more wood by cutting the trees. They will regrow quite quickly, so remember to visit from time to time. I don't think we need um, as much wood, but I might as well. If we're gonna be making a bunch of houses for um, peasants in need of a home, that's the way I'm gonna look at it. Oh, the rocks are, okay, that, so that's, uh, that regen's um, pretty damn quick then. And does this go anywhere else? No, it goes to the forbidden place. Okay. All right, cool, cool. So, okay, so I can get a royal lumberjack to go and um, chop stuff for me. I kind of want a lady though. I kind of want to rent to a lady. He wants us to spend six grand on his house. We don't have six grand, so we can't really even do his house yet. Um, I think we'll go do another quest and we'll worry about renting later because um, I kind of do want to give it to a lady. So let's see what's on the quest wall. Oh, we've got two. Uh, mm, 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 this one. Become a master at your craft. We provide training for future castle builders. Sign up now. The number of places is limited. The first training will be held this winter. Okay, so we, we build a castle and we get three grand. Probably this one's pretty simple. Um, let's just do that. Oh, we're in uh, Winterland now. Um, finish building the castle. Okay, so it, it wants me to clean up as well. And then, yeah, it looks pretty straightforward. You've got the green ghosts here that will have to um, place stuff. Oh, and there's chests here. Where would the chests be? Okay, well, we've got all the garbage. Oh, probably out here. Will it let me out here? Oh, there it is. I'm getting really good at this game. Okay, well, that's the ground. So um, maybe, maybe the, um, the list of tenants will refresh when I get back or maybe we'll make enough to satisfy the lumberjack guy although i don't think he yeah i think it said he wasn't gonna pay rent so maybe we don't want maybe we don't want him hmm i thought this would be straightforward but oh it's this one at once yeah can you imagine if it was this easy to build a castle in real life that would be so sweet this game is um quite relaxing i will give it that I mean, I can, I can give it lots of praise. I love this game. I'm low-key obsessed with playing it at the moment. I'm having to be really strict with filming the episodes in advance and then editing them, like not, not filming a bunch in a row because that um, is where I usually fail when I'm trying to make content. I get really into the game and I just play it to death because I want to play it. And then um, because editing is not the fun bit, I end up just abandoning it. Which is quite sad, but I'm not going to do that with this one. Man, when we make our castle, it's going to be so sweet. I can't wait. Okay, we're doing the crenulations on the parapet. I hope those words are both right, because it really sounded like I knew what I was talking about. I do to an extent, you know? This is my special interest. What else do you need? What else does it need? It's done, surely. Oh, uh, door. Oh, uh, windows, okay.
He did it. My horse is still gone. That makes me really upset. Um, I'm gonna go chop some trees real quick. I'll probably just like cut this bit out because it's boring. <laughs> oh wait, there's cows over here. Oh my god, hi. Oh my god, hi. Yeah, I'll, I'll just cut this bit out because who needs to see me chopping trees 300 times? <gasps> hey, what's up? Oh, oh bye. Okay, so, hmm, I think um, we'll probably make a house for... Oh yeah, now we got ladies, now we got ladies. Okay, so who's gonna give us the most money? Grodzis, Godzis, Grodzis lawyer, Grodzis lava, just <laughs> We'll rent to her, that'll be good. He can wait, he can wait. So she wants a house area of six. I'll just put her next to me, we can be like besties. I mean, I'll probably cut my house down and rebuild it eventually. These are not lined up, but whatever, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm gonna give her a box house, um, because I think it'll be easiest. And maybe... plaster? I don't know. Oh, this is not straight. This is not straight. Okay, wait, no, I wanna do it, I wanna do it properly. Let's, um, start over. I'll, I'll build it over here next to the fence so I can line it up properly. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Um, and what was she? She's a mage, so we'll give her some mage decorations inside as well. I mean, it's gonna be kind of a small house, and I think I'll just keep it with, like, one room. Uh, and maybe just, like... No, I'll give her- I'll give her a plaster house. I care about my tenants, you know? I want them to have a nice place to live. I want to fill it with things that they like and enjoy. Maybe, like, a stone floor? See what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This is already nicer than my house. <laughs> Roof is where I struggle, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay this time. I just, I gotta do this one. I just gotta, it's my fave. Yeah, I think this is gonna look okay. I mean, it's super simple. It's super basic, but that's okay. Sometimes that's what you need. And I think I'll just go with like a plaster roof, maybe. What does that look like from the front? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I, I think that's super cute. Obviously, it's not done yet. And she wants a bed, closet, shelving, basin. Oh shit, how did I get that much money? Oh my god. How did that happen? That's insane. So I, I'm assuming that these little crown symbols mean those are her favorite bits of furniture. Her house is already 50 million times fancier than mine. A mage is what I think it is, right? I'm pretty sure I know what a mage is. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what a mage is. I wish I had more to um, decorate with, but I think I have to unlock more stuff. Oh, that should have broken. Is there like a big cauldron? There's a little cauldron. Oh, that's a good cauldron. Oh, that's a good cauldron. Yeah, she'll like that for sure. Can I put a rug under it? I think it doesn't really let you put, yeah, it doesn't really let you put stuff on the rug. Oh, it does. Oh, that's cute, that's cute. She wants a closet, she wants shelving, basins. Did I give her a closet? Let's, um, do this thing and see. Yeah, it's got a closet, so she just needs shelving and a basin. It means she's got more space than I really know what to do with. Maybe I'll give her a table. It's really hard to tell what the, um, swatches will look like. No, I want like dark wood. That's a really nice table though. No, that's way too big for one person. That doesn't really match um, her other stuff. Maybe, yeah, maybe just something like that. And then um, maybe that one. No, something about this doesn't feel right. I think, I think she needs a stool. I think it's, I think it's too big. I wish the swatches matched. I don't really know if you call them swatches outside of The Sims, but... I want all the woods to match each other. Actually, that's pretty good. Whoa, is that a storm? Sweet. Okay, well that, we can just go there then. Maybe I'll give her a little fireplace. And just like mine. Wait, why won't this go? I don't know why this won't go in here. Maybe it's too tall? Okay, I guess she can have this one like I've got. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Oh wait, what is this? Oh, are these, are these the chimneys? Maybe they're the chimneys. Okay, well she can have this one then. Yeah, it's a chimney. Okay, that's a cute fucking house. 
She'll have a little stool. I mean, I'm making it very, very similar to my house, but you know, that's not my fault. And she needs some books, some like spell books. Oh my God, wait, can I put the cauldron on there? No, <laughs> sure would be cool if I could. And she, yeah, she needs a big box for all of her uh, magical ingredients. Maybe like a cage for her familiar. I mean, it looks a bit weird. It does look a bit weird. She can keep it though. Actually, can I give her one? I can't put the dock inside. Oh man. Okay, well, he's escaped. Her familiar's escaped. He's on the loose. Okay, the books don't stack super good. <laughs> it's okay. She's a really well read um, mage. Maybe a little stack of firewood next to the fire. That's kind of cute. Yeah, unfortunately I can't really add that much stuff because a lot of stuff is locked. So we may have decorated it about, ooh, about as much as we can. I, maybe I'll just move these. That's cute. Okay, I think we're done. So here's the mage's house. She's got um, her little book nook. She's got her, maybe I'll put the broom next to her um, chest of uh, ingredients or whatever she wants to keep in there. Oh, is there an orb? If there's, a, if there's an orb, that would be so good. She needs an orb. No, no orbs. Um, and she's got her really fancy bed. She's got her little cage for her familiar who's escaped. And then we got this kitchen, which I'm really proud of actually, and her little cauldron. Okay, and now, um, Let's rent it to her. Oh wait, she's not happy with the shelving. Um, I'm glad I didn't spend all my money then. I mean, she has shelves, but maybe they're not good enough? Well, I don't, I don't really know what else she needs. Is she happy now? Okay, she likes that. Um, I mean, it looks like shit in here, but she better give me so much rent. Okay, I, I moved it over here and I put some stuff on top of it. Um, I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty good. So let's rent that to her. Okay, and now we'll start getting rent. Oh my God, it looks so much better than my house. Oh, that's sad. I have enough money to um, make the house for the lumberjack guy but I'm gonna wait until the next episode to do that um, and to take on the quest. Actually, let me just see, what, what does this say? Trade market, you can exchange materials in this building. After approaching the ledger, select the material to exchange and then the material you want to acquire. Oh, so we can like switch wood out for stone. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, and there's another dude. There's another dude. Hey dude. Okay, I love how you guys just kind of show up without my consent. That um, speaks really well of this queendom. Bye.